So hello for today, you will be learning the basic differentiation formulas. But before anything else, let us differentiate the two way of differentiating. You have the explicit and you have the implicit. Pag sinabi natin explicit, ex, it means exclusive lang para kay x. Pag sinabi natin implicit, yan ay inclusive kung saan i-differentiate natin hindi lang ang x kundi pati ang y. And this time, ang aaralin muna natin ay ang explicit differentiation. Okay? So the first formula is the derivative of constant with respect to x. Again, derivative of constant with respect to x. Derivative of constant with respect to x is equals to 0. Every constant is 0. Ano ba yung example ng constant natin? So, pwedeng 1, 2, 3, and so on. Any negative numbers is also treated as constant. The same as pi and e. Okay? So, examples. What is the derivative of 3 with respect to x? 3 is constant. Therefore, the derivative of 3 with respect to x is 0. What is the derivative of e with respect to x? Again, that is equals to 0. Paano naman kapag ang sinabi sa atin ay derivative of 3y with respect to x? Ngayon, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, ang inaaral natin ngayon ay explicit differentiation. Meaning, Ang pag-differentiate natin ay exclusive lang kay x. Tsaka, tingnan nyo to. Derivative of 3y with respect to x. Kanino ka narespeto? Kay x. Meron ka bang x na nakita dito? Wala. Kapag wala kang nakita ng x at ang nirespeto mo ay si x, is 0 mo lang po yan. Kanino ba? Okay. So, that is the first formula. Derivative of constant with respect to x is 0. So, yung second formula natin ay derivative of a times u raised to n, wherein a is a constant, u is a function of x, n is the exponent. So, ang derivative niyan is yung n, bababa dyan. Since bumaba yun, mamainusan mo ng isa. So, para mas malinaw, bigyan po kayo ng example. So, examples. So, what is the derivative of 3x squared? So, ano mangyayari? 3 is a, x, is, x squared is the function of x, 2 is the exponent. Yung exponent, bababa, <clears throat> 3x, 2 minus 1. So, this will become 2 times 3 raised to x. This will be equals to 6x. Okay? So, example. What is the derivative of 3x? Ano mangyayari? Yung exponent bababa. Ano ba exponent ng x? Diba? 1. So, bababa po yung 1 times 3x. 1 minus 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. And x raised to 0 is just equals to 1. So this is just equals to 3. Okay? Paano naman po ang derivative na 8x squared? Ano magyayari? Bababa yung exponent, multiply mo, bawas ka doon sa exponent dahil bumaba. So, 2 times 8 x kasi 2 minus 1 is just x raised to 1. And this is equals to 16x. Okay? Next. Okay, so example pa dun sa isa nating formula. Again, the derivative 
of A times U raised to N is equals to bababa yung N times A raised to uh, A times U raised to N minus 1. Okay? <clears throat> so, paano kapag ang binigay sa atin ay square root of 3x? Okay? Do not forget na kapag meron kang square root, yan ay simply 3x raised to 1 half. Okay? Kung yun ay cube root, e di raised to 1 third. Okay? So, ano mangyayari? Bababa yung 1 half. Tapos, bawasan mo ng isa. Tapos, ka na ba? Hindi pa po. Ito yung tricky na part. Deneribative mo tong buo, e di derivative mo yung loob. Ano po ba ang derivative ng 3x? 3, 3 lang. Kasi magiging x raised to 0. 1 lang naman yung exponent no. So, buuin lang natin. 3 times ito. 3 over 2 times 3 x raised to negative 1 half. Kaya lang, ayaw natin ang may negative na exponent. So, ibababa po natin yan. So, 3 over 2 square root of 3x. Okay? And yan na po ang ating final answer. Okay, guys? Paano naman kapag ang binigay sa atin ay derivative of cube root of 4x squared. Okay? Ang kaibahan nito, dito sa example na to kanina, yung 3x na buo, naka-raise lang sa 1, tapos ni-raise natin sa 1 half. Ngayon, cube root na tayo. So, derivative of x, 4x raised to 2 thirds. Bakit po? Kasi kung meron akong cube root of 5, Yan ay equal sa, di ba may exponent itong 1? 5 raised to 1 third lang po. At ito na yung i-derivative natin. So, ano mangyayari? Bababa po si 2 thirds times 4x raised to 2 thirds minus 1. Ngayon, huwag yung kakalimutang i-derivative po yung mismong loob. Ano po ba ang derivative na? 4x. Ang derivative ng 4x ay 4 lang. So, 4 times 2, 8 over 3. 2 thirds minus 1. So, 4x is negative 1 third. Ano po mangyayari nga dito kapag may negative na exponent? Bababa po. So, 8 over 3. Diba? Cube root lang yun. Raise to 4x. Nasa yung 1? Nandito po. Naka-raise po kasi yan sa 1. Isulat ko lang po ng maayos. Yung final answer natin is 8 all over 3 times cube root of 4x. Okay? Malinaw na ba? Kayo nga. What is the derivative of 18x cubed. Ano mangyayari? Bababa yung 3. 18x, babawasan mo yung exponent. So, 3 times 18x squared. What is 3 times 18? 54x squared. So, yun lang po yung second formula natin. Okay? So, copy. So, third formula is kapag meron pang product. Derivative of u times v with respect to x wherein u and v are functions of x. So, derivative of u times v is simply u times the derivative of b with respect to x plus v times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay? 
para mas maintindihan nyo, example, what is the derivative of the square root of 5x times 9x? Okay? So, u tsaka v. Identify mo para hindi ka nalilito. So, u is equals to square root ng 5x. What is the derivative of u with respect to x? So, di ba ang square root ng 5x ay 5x raised to 1 half. Yan ay magiging 1 half times 5x raised to negative 1 half. Kasi 1 half minus 1. Then, wag mo kakalimutang i-derivative yung loob. Derivative of 5x is just simply 5. So, ito ay magiging 5 over 2 square root ng 5x. Okay? Meron ka ng u tsaka du. Paano naman ang v? So, ang v natin dito ay yung 9x. Okay? What is the derivative of v with respect to x? Yan ay simply 9. Diga? At susundan lang natin yung formula natin. So, the derivative of square root ng 5x times 9x is simply u times the derivative of v with respect to x plus v times the derivative of u with respect to x. Kung nakita nyo, haling hindi lang. u dv plus v u. Okay. What is u? u is square root of 5x times dv which is 9. Plus, what is v? 9x. What is du? 5 over 2 square root ng 5x. Okay. So, this is equals to 9 square root of 5x plus 9x times 5 is 45x all over 2 square root of 5x. So, paano po natin isisimplify ang ganyan? Remember, kung meron akong 1 plus 2 thirds, ang gagawin ko po, 3 times 1, 3, copy yung denominator na 3, plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5 over 3. Okay, nakuha po ba? So, anong gagawin ko? Multiply ko to. Yung nasa labas, 9 times 2, 18. Square root of 5x times square root ng 5x is just simply 5x. Makakancel po yung radicals natin. Plus 45x all over 2 square root na 5x. So 18 times 5 is 90x plus 45x all over 2 square root na 5x. 90x plus 45x, so that is 135x, all over 2 square root ng 5x. At yan na po ang derivative ng square root ng 5x times 9x. Ganun lang pong kadali. Okay? Copy.